In this video I'll be showing you how to use Magnet Field 5.0 doing a hybrid back sight with an automatic localization. Some of the setup requirements are you need a GNSS receiver with no correction, in this case we're using a FC5000 with internal GPS, a robotic total station, a data recorder with Magnet Field with a hybrid license, the solution includes this, a known control point and a back sight azimuth or point a backsight target set, no projection or localization is required as we're using ground coordinates, and a range pole with ATP1 prism. Also a minimum of 5 topo shots at a distance greater than 20 meters around the total station. So from the main screen of magnet field we'll go into configure and then survey, ensure you have the correct optical configuration selected and we just edit the internal FC5000 just to show a few of the settings ensure that the type is SBAS or autonomous and we'll go next ensure that the manufacturer is generic enemy A and we'll go next ensure that the model is generic enemy A also this is because the magnet field software automatically knows you're using the FC5000 internal GPS and it will read in the enemy A data coming from the GPS unit and we can hit back onto the configure screen and go into coordinate system and on the coordinate system ensure that you have none next to projections we will be creating an automatic localization during this routine and that the datum is WGS84 because that is the information being provided from the GPS and a geoid is not required and we can hit the green tick and go back to the main screen of magnet field we can go into edit and then points we can see that we are using two known control points for the back sight and then we can hit home and go back to the main screen of magnet field and then we can go to the connect icon ensure that hybrid positioning is ticked and that you have the correct configuration selected and then you can hit connect it doesn't matter whether GPS or optical is connected to first as the software will connect to both automatically you might just need to search for the Bluetooth of the robotic total station once you are connected up the top right corner of magnet field you will see a GPS and a total station symbol indicating that you had successfully connected to both the GPS and the total station. You can also see the button at the top that will switch between total station and GPS mode. If we hit this button we'll go into GPS mode and we can go into setup status ensuring that we can see visible satellites. Go back to the main screen of magnet field and we'll hit the GPS button to go into total station mode. This is just a quick visual representation of how to do a backside in the field. Back on the main screen of magnet field, ensuring that we're in total station mode, we'll go into setup and then backside. Once in the backside screen, we can pick the occupation point from the list or the map and we can enter in the instrument height. We can also pick the backside point from the list or the map. If we hit the point button that will change to azimuth if you had an azimuth to enter in and again enter in the backside target height. And then we can hit next. In the backside screen we can go up into the cog symbol to change any of our EDM or prism constant settings and if you need to add in a new prism you can hit the three dot button next to the prisms and from the drop down you can go add new. We can turn to our backside point and hit the lock symbol so the instrument will lock on to the prism. A quick check that we have set the circle to the azimuth and we have the correct occupation and backside point. And once we are getting a distance and you'll notice that the hybrid positioning button is greyed out at this stage because we haven't defined the orientation of the total station at this stage. Once all settings are correct we can hit set and we can now see the backside results. You can scroll down, view the results and you can also save this out as a report if you wish. We can back out to the main screen of magnet field. This is a visualization of how to achieve a auto localization after doing a backside. Because there is no automatic localization created after doing a backside, you need to perform topo points around the total station ideally in every quadrant around the total station not right next to it at some distance away 
to achieve the best localization possible. Typically this requires a minimum of five points to be picked up in a topo. These don't have to be used in your job. These can be random points, ideally if you're already doing a feature survey. As you go around with a total station, you might as well pick up points that are required for your job at the same time. And now we'll jump back into the software and from the main screen of magnet field, we will go into survey and then topo. Once in the topo screen, you can see that the hybrid positioning button is greyed out. Ensure that we are locked onto the prism and like we saw in the field demonstration, we can simply walk around the total station, ideally picking up points in each quadrant around the total station, ideally not within close proximity, greater than 20 metres away from the instrument to achieve this automatic localization for better search functionality to find the prism once lost. As we can see here, we're just going through the software, picking up the points. You'll see a automatic localization has been created message appear. Once the software has collected enough points for a localization to be calculated, once you have closed out of this hybrid localization once created message, you will now see that the hybrid positioning button is now illuminated and can be used for the remainder of the survey topo or stakeout. And we can hit the hybrid positioning button and again the instrument will turn on the horizontal and then on the vertical and automatically lock onto the prism. And again, due to this not having centimeter accuracy, it is recommended to have the search settings for the instrument at the default of 15 degrees for the vertical and horizontal. We can go up into the magnet symbol and then go to raw data and we can edit the raw data and if we go again to the magnet symbol and show GPS, we can see that each topo shot has a total station reading and a GPS reading and that the hybrid adapter height is being applied to the GPS reading for the prism pole and we can back out to the main screen of magnet field and go into stake and then points pick a point to stake out remembering to enter in the correct prism height and again you'll notice that the hybrid positioning icon is visible in the stakeout routine and we can quickly hit this hybrid button to quickly turn our instrument to our GPS position for a quick and more accurate reacquisition of the prism to commence a stakeout. And this can also be used as a check shot as we are doing here. And once we are happy with our check shot, we can continue our topo or our stakeout and we can simply hit the home button and return to the main screen of magnet field. And this concludes the Magnet 5 how-to video on hybrid backsight with an automatic localization.